Today we're going to talk about mental math strategies for multiplication and we're going to use maybe my favorite math visual, the area model. Let's start with the problem 5 times 28. To use the area model for multiplication, the factors are the dimensions and the product will be the area. That's what we don't know yet. Using a strategy called partial products, I'm going to split this area into smaller chunks. I know 5 times 20 is 100 and I know 5 times 8 is 40. To find my total area, I'll add these two numbers together. Now let's look at rounding as a strategy. I may not know 5 times 28, but I do know 5 times 30. And then once I find that product, I'll compensate by subtracting this extra amount at the end. Now watch this next strategy happen. With our area model, we're looking for this total area. So if I don't know what it is, I can manipulate it a little bit, and I'm going to cut it in half. Now notice I rearrange these two rectangles, but I haven't changed the total area. What I've done is doubled one dimension and split the other in half. Now when I show this next problem, I want you to use one of these strategies and solve it mentally. Are you ready? Three and a half times six and a fifth. The point of knowing lots of strategies is so that you can pick the one that is the most efficient for the problem you're working on. With this one, I'm gonna go with double and half. Three and a half I'll make into seven and six and a fifth I'll make into three and one tenth. I can multiply these and get 21 and seven tenths. All of this mental work is building students' number sense. If they can't make sense of what's going on with the numbers, then they'll have a lot of trouble when we take those numbers out and put in variables. So doing this kind of thinking is setting them up for success for algebra concepts. 